Today, Digi handed a $10,000 check each to the Young Women's Christian Association and Haven House. The funds were raised back in August when over 200 riders took part in the first ever Digi Ride. On August 24, riders pedaled from northern Belize into the old capital, and on the following day, they rode from Cayo. Chief Financial Officer at Digi, Ivan Tesokum, says it was a success. Digi is certainly happy to be able to give back to the community that is available to all Belizeans. It also continues to demonstrate the fact that we are a part of this Belizean community and is a part of our corporate social responsibility for which we are very proud. General Secretary at the YWCA, Diana gomez Perfit and President of Haven House, Dr. Charmaine Sanders, received the donation. It is with much gratitude that I stand here today to accept this donation from DG um, for our kitchen because this money is um, going to be used to renovate our kitchen. The YWCA kitchen actually has a long story and has touched the lives of many women and youth in our country. Um, no matter socioeconomic backgrounds, many people can tell you they've come to YWCA to learn to cook, to bake, to do catering, and so the monies will really have a ripple and multiplier effect for us. Our kitchen is being renovated. It will continue to help us to empower women from all socioeconomic backgrounds. We are really happy and grateful for this donation. I'd like to say on behalf of our board of directors and the staff of Haven House, we want to express our sincerest gratitude to, the, to Digi and the Digi family. We want to assure you that your contributions will be included in our ongoing finances to build an infra integrated infrastructure that continues to provide holistic support of women and children who are victims of domestic violence. And we just rolled out our new strategic plan and we are now trying to raise sufficient funds to establish an integrated holistic infrastructure for the women and children. So your funds, your contribution goes towards this. It is through partnerships such as these we are able to advance our advocacy work in this area. We thank you so much. Dalilaikal for News 5.